Hey there, Dave back with you in my Pleasure Way RV van. I've been getting actually a lot of questions. This is the 2007 and I've been getting a lot of questions about um, what did I do to um, kind of update and upgrade my electronics, specifically radio, uh, audio system, um, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. So of course, in back in 2007, this is built on a Ford chassis, Ford E350. Did not come with a you know a modern um, audio system. So there are some choices now. One thing I did when I first bought this, before I was able to actually do the upgrade, I actually went into Walmart and bought one of those um, FM. I don't know what you call it exactly, but it's like an FM tuner adapter, and you plug it in, and it tunes to an FM station and you hook your um, I can hook my iPhone up to it by Bluetooth and it then hooks into my FM and I could pretty much do anything I want from my iPhone so I could play uh, music I could get on uh, X Sirius XM um, but that's that's a short-term solution that's just not fantastic quality although it worked okay it's not fantastic quality so um, after I bought this when I got it home I made an appointment with my audio guy and he came in and he totally took out the double din um, older system that was in here. Let's go ahead and show, we can show what this looks like now. And he replaced it with a, um, with a Pioneer unit. So here's what I've got now. I'll turn, I'll turn the vehicle on just to show you what it looks like. I'm probably not gonna play music through it right now, but let's just show you what it looks like basically. Uh, totally up to date. Bluetooth, USB, um, everything you want. So, so um, um, here's what he also did. He, uh, what he, uh, input, which is connected of this unit, so I can go directly from my iPhone and plug it into the dash here, and then it, of course it will um, come up as uh, USB iPod. And it's a great, great solution. It pretty much totally modernizes, um, if that's a correct word, modernizes what I what I had in here. And just a couple other things before I show you what I have in the, in the back of the van, what I've upgraded in the back. I still use a, a, a cigarette lighter adapter here because I'm traveling with Yoko, and we're always we always want to charge things up. So not only do I have this one that goes directly into the back of the unit, but still, um, if we want to use Bluetooth or just simply charge, we just stick a double um, charger in there. Um, also, something that is really really good is I still keep my iPhone when I'm driving for my map I keep it right in this little I don't know what this is this what brand this is oh it's it's oh write this down because I'll tell you something this is an incredible I love this it's um IOTE I-O-T-T-I-E um I absolutely love this uh, this and it holds my iPhone right in place as I'm driving as well one more thing before I take you to the back of the van and show you what I've done to upgrade the um TV uh, the video system, everything back there, um, something that is incredibly valuable that I didn't realize until we started on a long road trip. But um, this is a must. So it basically it's a um, it's a remote control for my Pioneer receiver up here. Because imagine you're driving, you're driving along, and you're and you're on a trip, and you you got to keep your eye on the road, and if I want to lower the volume or raise the volume or change something, I don't want to keep, I don't want to take my eye off the road and start fumbling around with this. So, so basically what I do is I keep this right just under my, under one of my like um, leg, one under one of my, um, I guess it's a, uh, I don't know, under um, my uh, leg. Uh, and um, I keep it right on my seat. And basically just by feeling it, I don't have to touch anything. I can adjust the volume. So I'm driving along. I just adjust the volume very, very easily, or I could switch tracks without taking my eye off the road. So this thing, and the funny thing is I lost the original one that came with me. It's probably back home somewhere. I lost the original one. So I actually, uh, while we were on the road, I went on eBay and found this and had it sh overnight shipped to an Airbnb where we were staying in Salt Lake City. But this is probably one of the most valuable purchases I've made as far as the um, entire audio video system. So um, 
I think that covers everything in the front. And, and that's also a few people also were asking me about cost. Um, I don't have any receipts in front of me, but just to give you an idea, um, to have this um, system put in the um, audio system put in the front, um, I think it was running right around. Uh, I'm going to just totally ballpark it, including including labor and everything. I, I think right around a thousand. 1200 don't quote me exactly but that'll give you an idea um, about how much that would cost to um, take out your old system and put a new one in around a thousand twelve hundred thirteen some something like that let's take a walk to the back of the van now and I'll show you what I did back there as far as the TV etc etc okay welcome to the back of my 2007 Pleasure Way Excel TS van. I'm gonna show you what I have here. Now, this um, Samsung LCD TV came with the van. I bought this van used, but this is um, the TV that we get if you bought this in 2007. Um, up here, which I'll talk about in a couple seconds or so, this was a um, DVD player. So what I had my AV guy do, I had him come in here and we decided to leave the TV in place. I mean, of course, I could have modernized it and spent all kinds of money and put a put a brand new, nice flat screen, beautiful you know thing in there. But I decided to leave because I'm not I'm not a real TV guy. I mean, I'll watch some TV occasionally, a movie, something, but I'm not I'm not like a real serious TV guy. So it doesn't really matter. But it's fine. So um, we kept this in place. He took out the old DVD player right here and installed a Kenwood. Um, audio sound system updated with Bluetooth and you know all the stuff that you would need today now so here's what I do when I'm back here um, number one I can, if I want to listen to music I can just turn on my iPhone and connect it connects automatically Bluetooth into my Kenwood here and I've got a beautiful beautiful sound system with speakers that you actually these are the stock speakers um, right here there's one and there's one on the other side and um, it, it sounds really really good so when I'm going to just uh, kind of groove to some really good loud music back here if we're going to sleep or you know something like that I can do that and um, just by using this the sound system here now if I want to watch TV here's what I do at first my guy came in and he tried to get pretty fancy and he tried to uh, hook it up with some kind of HDMI thing, which I gotta tell you. So here, let me show you the inner workings of this, if I, if I may open this up a little bit. If you can see inside here, I hope you can. I hope it's not too dark. But um, he hooked up this whole um, HDMI uh, Vend boat. It's, um, I don't even know what it is, Vend, but don't even worry about it because you're not gonna get one. I'm gonna recommend you don't get this thing right here. Um, we hooked HDMI cable to the TV and then I would plug my iPhone into that and it didn't really work well it just it just it just was unpredictable it would freeze the picture was not good just nothing was really right about it and he even switched it out um, and tried it with another HDMI adapter or something and the HDMI to this older TV just just wasn't working well it was totally unpredictable so I said to my guy I said hey look why don't we just why don't we just try VGA? And he said, well, we could try that, but the video is probably not going to be great quality. But guess what? We tried it. He hooked up a um, VGA adapter in here somewhere. I don't, I'm not going to really undo all this wiring. It's kind of a, I don't want, I don't want to do it. But just trust me, if you're a, um, if you're really an electronics audio video person, you'll know how to do this. If not, you gotta, you gotta get somebody to do it for you. But basically with all this stuff here, I'm going to close this back up again with all the stuff that's in there. We've got a cable that comes out of there with a simple, now I use iPhone, uh, with a simple lightning uh, uh, plug that I'll plug right into my iPhone. And so any video coming from my iPhone, let's say I'm watching a YouTube video, a movie, whatever, whatever it is coming from my iPhone will display perfectly. It, I'm telling you, it looks great on the TV here. Now, that's video only. How do I get audio? Well, it'll also connect to Bluetooth, remember, to my audio system up here, so it'll play through the speakers. And it sounds like, it pretty much sounds like home theater. It's beautiful. But if Yoko's sleeping, if she doesn't want to hear all the noise, I'll go ahead and just put also my, um, my AirPods in my ear, and that'll give me the audio 
for the for the vi for the movie or for the you know for the whatever I'm watching the YouTube video will give me the audio for that. So it's all in all, it is a um, great, great, fairly inexpensive solution to updating what you may have in an older pleasure way or whatever you have, probably similar RV. One more thing before I go, uh, something else again, it cost me a few bucks, but it's just something that works out really well. I bought a little um, uh, iPhone or, or smartphone holder and I, I just stuck it to the wood here. And so basically when I'm watching a video, I keep my iPhone plugged in right up here and it keeps the orientation because again, if I'm, if my iPhone gets moved to this, to the um, uh, portrait orientation as opposed to landscape, it's going to change the picture on the TV. So it's got to stay like this as opposed to like this. So this holds it in place perfectly. I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm watching movies and everything's stable. And again, it's just a great solution. How much did this cost? Um, again, we kept the TV. We didn't do anything to the TV except added some cables to it. Um, put this in. I'm going to guess again, I don't have the receipts in front of me, but if you, again, ballpark, ballpark, um, I'm going to guess um, a few hundred bucks, give or take, a few hundred bucks, give or take. And one thing I forgot to tell you when I was in the front of the van is that um, I do have a backup camera attached to the audio video system in the front. That uh, The Pioneer I showed you just a few minutes ago, I've got a backup camera that um, is totally wired to the back of the van. That actually took a little bit of labor, a little bit of time, and a little bit of money. So again, I don't remember, but definitely a couple hundred dollars for the camera itself, and then a few hundred dollars because the labor was pretty intensive to get the wiring done right. But all in all, for a few, th a couple, th I don't know, a couple thousand bucks or so, um, totally, totally upgraded the front audio system, backup camera, the rear, um, audio vi uh, visual system, audio video system, and I am really, really happy with it. One more thing before we go. When I'm outside of the van, sitting at a picnic table, or just want music outside, here's what I carry with me. I bought, and we just keep this in a cabinet in the van. It's by Fugu. It's F-U-G-O-O, -O, I believe. It is probably one of the best portable speakers. It works on Bluetooth one of the best portable speakers I've ever heard. It's a little bit on the heavy side. You can just get a feel for how big it is um, from me hold, um, holding it. But um, this thing is just... Let me see. Speaker is on. Can you hear that? It's just... It's powering off. It's really nice. And so if you're looking for a solution um, outside of your van, and if actually if you want a, a solution really, really inexpensively, you can use this inside the van as well and don't have to upgrade some of the stuff I showed you. It's by Fugu, F-U-G-O-O. -O. I really recommend it. I hope this helped the questions that I've been asked. I know I did a previous video, uh, hit or miss on some of the stuff I've upgraded, but this video is a little more comprehensive from start to finish, showed you everything from the front to the back to outside what I use to listen to my music and watch my videos. Thanks so much, by the way. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, please, right there. Subscribe and tell your friends that are into RVs or thinking about getting into RVs. Definitely hang out with me on my channel. I'm Dave. Thanks a lot. See you very, very soon.